Hey everyone, this is Seth Bloom and David Gremion. Hey everybody. We're here for another one of our uh, videos to talk about different issues of the law. And today I think we wanted to talk a little bit about Uber and Lyft, yeah. ride sharing in general, and sure. what are all the uh, liabilities involved, and uh, how does that work with uh, personal injury. And I guess one thing that we shouldn't feel bad for a company like Uber, I mean Uber's estimates they're worth 40 50 it's billion company. dollars yeah. it's a genius genius idea all this ride sharing but with great ideas there's liabilities sure things sure. happen so I mean I don't know if, if you think it's crazy but basically with Lyft and Uber you're yeah. sending a, a, ta a driving force out there that has no training as drivers the only yep. thing they have to have is what a driver's license, a license and a car right? a car that's fairly well maintained yeah somewhat new insurance and pa and pass some sort of cursory background check sure i mean that doesn't really give you the qualifications of a chauffeur so it, as, as amazing as the service is and we all utilize it i mean yeah traveling. i love uber i love lyft i mean everybody uses it it's very convenient it allows you especially if you're in a city that you're not familiar with to easily get a cab or our ride and not have to worry about hailing a cab or calling a chauffeur. But it does present a lot of liability issues. Um, you know, a lot of times, you know, whose insurance is going to be liable if there's an accident? If right, I mean, you're sending out these people, these drivers that are doing this part-time or full-time with no training. There's bound to be, I mean, traffic accidents and injuries happen. Sure. So with this group, uh, driving people around the city, there's bound to be a lot of accidents. Of course. Especially not knowing how to really pick people up. On, on which side yeah, they're the not road. trained they're just not trained yeah so we've been dealing with here for now a number of years uh, all these ride-sharing accidents and I'll sure. let uh, David talk a little bit about the liabilities on you know how personal injury works and what are the complications and nuances of doing that with uh, ride-sharing applications sure and, and you know you have to have a driver's license and car insurance and a car to be able to drive for one of these services um, but a lot of times your personal insurance may not cover ride shares so if you're driving someone around your personal insurance may not cover it now uber and lyft they have policies to cover their drivers um, but you have to specifically be driving a passenger you have to right. be in drive mode you have to have someone in the car sure. and that's a um, good point so if you're a driver for uber or lyft and we haven't had one of these yet but i'm sure it's coming yeah. and you get an accident how is the law going to interpret with whether or not you're in the scope of working or not and that's something that kind of litigation and that kind yeah. of jurisprudence is new Yep, it's changing from state to state. So that's something that I think, you know, from the driver's perspective, now, if, be the, cognizant of now if the driver's on a pickup, then he, will, he or she will be covered. And obviously the passengers, or not so obviously, the passenger will be covered. Yes. But now it depends whose fault is it. Is it the Uber or the Lyft driver's fault? Sure. Is it the other car's fault? Do they have uninsured motorists? Most of these companies, not only do they have to have personal insurance, the yes. driver, but they also have to have a commercial driving policy. So there is money there if you are injured, but there may not be enough money there. And depending on whose insurance is involved, if it was the fault or partial fault of the other driver, there's a lot of issues that really need to be deciphered and looked through Absolutely. Uh, by an attorney. Yeah, and it's, it's a problem we're seeing more and more these days and, and people calling us that are um, involved in these accidents and there's a lot of stuff to work through. You know, right. and it's a lot of new issues that Seth was talking about and you need an experience uh, personal injury attorney to help you sort through all that and make sure you're receiving the care that you need and you deserve to make sure you're better. I mean, we do personal injury here. I've done it for almost 15 years now, so this is just a new form of personal injury. Uh, I've represented people in taxi cabs for many, many years, so now because of the proliferation of ride sharing, there's so many more people out there. They're less trained than limo drivers and yeah. uh, taxi drivers. So. If you're injured in one of these accidents, if it's just you, if it's a passenger, or if you're a driver and you have questions, give us a call, 504-599-9997, or reach us at bloomlegal.com, and all our information's there, and we'd uh, love to help you.